That's simply the fact that I conducted quite a lot at this time. And I say, I take a material so, uh, which is mine, but far away, like the Berio did with, uh, with a material which is not his material, but myself, that was a material which was my material, but far uh, uh, behind me. And then to use it, and to use it as an exercise for first trying to make ideas uh, proliferate from a material which I did not use practically, and also to make that as an exercise of orchestration. And I was very influenced because I was looking very close, that, of course, to uh, Wagner because I was I was in Bayreuth at this time, and uh, you know to see Wagner uh, also with the distance, and to 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 look at a, at a kind of exercise of orchestration. That was very interesting to me, and therefore I want to go to the end, so with that. Only some dynamics in the sevens, which I change uh, when I explain that to the musician. Play uh, not mezzo forte, play forte, and so on. Oh, it take me maybe one week simply that. It was very quick, uh, quickly composed. I, mean, I was very spontaneous at this time. <laughs> Did you I was still twenty. I composed that in uh, forty-five. To make a fun of the twelfth tone, uh, <laughs> because every piece, there are twelve pieces, every piece was twelve bars long, and each time the, 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 the tone row began with a number one, and one, two, three, four, five, and so on, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, uh, and that to, to, to make fun of the dogmatism of Leibowitz. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I try my best, as one says. <laughs> Stop the show.